Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the RTX 5090 inside Blender and comparing the two eight RTX 4090s that I did a couple years back. Now, a couple of disclaimers here. I am using an entirely different CPU than my original RTX 4090 test. So just keep that in mind. Additionally, I'm using the most current version of Blender, which is 4.4. Uh, the test that I did previously was using 3.5. But that said, you still should be able to see uh, the difference between one RTX 5090 and eight RTX 4090s inside Blender using GPU. So I have here the same exact settings, same exact barbershop demo that you can download. And just to make sure we have everything set, I'm going to go to our settings here. We have Cycles GPU Compute at 2048 samples, and our resolution is 2560 by 1440p. I know you can enable persistent data here if you're rendering multiple frames, but for the sake of this one, I'm just going to render the first initial one. Okay, because I know you can save time, but that's that's kind of cheating. You got to render the first one first before you can kind of render the rest, right? So that said, I'll go ahead and press F12. And this is going to render. And I'll pull up our uh, task manager here so we can kind of see what's going on. I'll move this to the left to give it more room. And here's our GPU utilizing 96%, uh, 50 Celsius, running pretty cool. And I do have the uh, Founders Edition. All right, starting to heat up. 61 Celsius using 97% uh, utilization. All right, so that finished in 2 minutes and 8 seconds. And what I'm going to do now is go back to that video that I recorded two years ago with the 8 RTX 4090s. All right, we're going to watch that real quick. All of them turned on. And I'm not going to change a thing. I'm just going to press F12. Let's take a look and see if it can beat that. Right, let's pull up the task manager now. And that looks a lot better. Now teamwork makes the dream work. Look at that. Now the workload is split, you know. So now that one GPU zero is not stressed. Because earlier, it was doing all the work. So, it was really stressed. 55 seconds. All right, so that said, again, there, there's a lot of other variables, right? I don't know how much GPU renders improve from 3.5 to 4.4. Additionally, we are using different CPUs and whatnot. But 8 RTX 4090s rendered in 55 seconds the same scene same samples same resolution while the rtx 5090 rendered it in two minutes